Welcome to my channel, oh, to my channel. Maybe from this video you want to follow or leave a like, you would comment and subscribe. Don't be shy, I'll tell you what I like. Hey guys, it's Julie. I just want to start the video by saying, as you can see, I'm a little sick. No, not even a little bit. I'm hella sick. I'm talking chills. I'm talking the lot. So in this video, I'm just going to be doing it a little bit different. I'm just going to be doing a New Year's Eve makeup look. Or just New Year's. Um, while I talk about the readathon that's happening in January. From January 1st to January 31st. It is called the Buffy the Vampire Slayer readathon. And even though I'm not the host for it. I, I was hella excited to even hear about it. And I wanted to do it and I wanted to put y'all onto it if y'all interested so without further ado let's get started okay so there are three charts so there is the Scooby gang chart the slayers chart and the baddies chart now I was gonna do the baddies chart because <laughs> we baddies over here but um, I don't know the slayer one was calling me it was calling my name so that's the one I'm gonna be talking about in this video but I'll be linking everything down below the two videos I saw about the readathon and also the account on Instagram that I'm following about the readathon. But yeah, in this video we're just doing the Slayers chart. So if you guys are doing the Slayers chart with me, then keep on watching. So for the first prompt, uh, it is a book with an unkillable or hard to kill character. So for that I chose The Bones of Ruin by Sarah Raleigh. So this book is about this tightrope performer. And she just does all these types of stunts and stuff that normally would kill people, but not her. And so this guy, he asks her to be his champion for this like contest of other people like her. Um, and basically, if she wins for her successor, he'll become like the leader of this group and have bragging rights and stuff like that. Uh, I saw Naya Reads and Smiles read this and it just sounded so good. Right, so the next prompt is a book with a burning main character. So for that, I chose uh, Mr. Masters by T.L. Swan. So all I know about this book is it's supposed to be a grumpy main character, um, grumpy sunshine type thing, and he's supposed to have a romance with his nanny. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit of like a dark romance type vibe. All right, so the next one, it is a kick-ass main character. So for this, I chose The Coldest Winter Ever. My sister soldier so this is supposed to be the epitome of urban fiction my mom's been trying to put me on um this will be my second urban fiction the first one was kind of wet so i have high hopes for this this better come correct uh, if you don't know what urban fiction is it's basically like hood books so if you have never read a hood book come read this with me um uh, yeah all i know is that she's supposed to be i think rich or at least her dad's rich and She's supposed to not take nothing from nobody. I think she comes out of jail in this, stuff like that. It's supposed to be a duology. I'm excited. All right, so the next prompt is a book by a Caribbean author. So for that, I chose Open Water by Caleb Asma Nelson. Uh, so all I know about this is that it's two characters, a guy and a girl, and they grow up to be artists, but they have a lot of trouble like breaking into the like artistry world but they're gonna find each other fall in love but something's gonna be something's gonna happen that they're gonna be broken apart all right so the next prompt is a chosen one trope so for that i, I cheated a little bit so for that i chose the one by john Mares. so this book is about um this company or whatever that has figured out a way to find your soulmate based on your your dna it's going to be told from different perspectives so one is going to be from somebody that's already in a relationship and we'll find out that that's not her soulmate i think one will be from somebody who has multiple soulmates and then one that's from the perspective of a serial killer so once i heard that last one i was like oh that's down my alley and yeah i've read I read a uh, book by John Mears before. I read The Passengers, which is one of his more recent ones. And it was pretty good. I gave it, I think, 3.5 stars. So I'm really excited to see what this one's about. It sounds awesome. Alright, so this next prompt is a character with a redemption arc. So for this, I chose You Were Never Really Here by Jonathan Ames. 
so i didn't know anything about this book at all i was looking for something else on goodreads and then i saw this book and it just i don't know it caught my eye it's about this guy who's an ex-fbi agent and i normally don't like those those type of books i find it boring but this one sounded good so something's gonna happen to him that he's like traumatized right and so he leaves the fbi and um he feels like he's he's no longer a hero right so but he still like saves people like girls from being who were trafficked i think that's the term and uh yeah something's gonna go down where he's gonna be more involved than he normally is and his life and the person he's trying to save life will be in danger and it just sounded good did it not follow it? I don't know. All right, so the next prompt is a father figure character. So for that, I chose Bad Men and Wicked Women by Eric Jerome Dickey. I actually recently read um, Blackbirds by him, and that was the urban fiction book I read. So I'm surprised. I didn't even know that. But I had started listening to it on audiobook like a while back, and it was so funny, y'all. Like, I was dying. Like, if you have to listen to it. I highly recommend audiobook. From what I was reading, it was sounding good, but I just wasn't in the mood at the time. But I'm ready for this book. I'm definitely getting the audiobook again because it was just too good. So it's basically about this guy who, um, he hasn't been the best father in the world, right? So uh, he hasn't seen his daughter since she was a little girl. But then she tries to come at him and try to, like, threaten him and be like, give me my money. And then blah, 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 right? But then also he does like odd jobs on the side so like stuff goes down there so it's just like a lot and i just think that's the perfect book for this prompt so the next prompt is a book in a spinoff series so this was kind of hard because i don't read a lot of series so i didn't have like a spinoff series but i picked her soul for revenge by harley laroque La Roche. i don't know but this is a companion novel to the first book because it's two different people so I counted it as like a spin-off novel if you will um, but this one is about this girl who she lives in like a cult type environment and they want to use her body as a sacrifice right and kill her but she like nah, nah it ain't going down like that so she runs away and for as retribution the cult uses her brother as like an alternate and kills him and so she decides to get like revenge and she gets help from this guy who's supposed to be like hella dark, hella like bad, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, and it's their romance. So I'm excited. All right, so the final prompt is a dystopian novel. Now, I don't really like dystopian novels. I haven't read one since high school. Like I don't hate them, but it's just, they're all the same to me. But I still think this counts. So I use Jade City by Fiona Fonda Lee. Um, basically, this is about, um, actually, I don't really know what it's about. It's about um, something with powers, two opposing sides, you know, the the typical, I think it's YA fantasy type vibe. But everybody and their mother is talking about this series or this trilogy, and I really wanted to get ahead of it and start reading it as well. So, yeah, uh, those are all the prompts. Uh, will this TBR change? Maybe because these I just realized like all of them are kind of like dark kind of Sad messed up books, but I don't know. That's what I've been into right now And maybe I'll change in the new year. We don't know But if it does I have plans to vlog so if I do change it up y'all see it in the vlog um, I don't I think it might be just one accumulative cumulative vlog but we shall see. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and I ever say it. Happy New Year's, guys. Uh, I hope you have a good New Year's. I hope it's prosperous, happy, and I wish everybody luck in the New Year. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Press that notification bell to be notified every time that I post. Um, that's that great about the subscribe button. And if you like to see my lovely face, I post Tuesdays and Saturdays. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!